This has got to stop happening to me. An hour to fuck my wife in my old bed? Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a brick in my bed. You bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! You okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You rich dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Cool shit. Gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. <laughs> I think we lost his egg. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. How'd you catch him? It wasn't hard. They were in my house. In my own bed. On top of each other. Man, this dude got some explaining to do. The whole thing was kind of self-explanatory, Frank. And what we're about to do won't need much context either. Shit, let's go coast the shit out this motherfucker. It's this track here. Hey! You know, one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. You left this car, check it out. Little pricks up there, look. Oh shit, Coast doing alright for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's got to get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh shit! He sorry now, he wasn't already! Yeah, he gon' feel this one, dog. Man, I think that shit's coming down, man! Do it, man! Fucking do it! his ass. Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. 
Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Ah. Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo! Fuck you! Whoa! Oh, Martin? Martin Madrazo? Shit! We got some heavies on us, homie! Are you kidding me? Kid, can you do something? I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. We can handle this, right? Screw up. We got a book, man. Go! How you doing, Frank? These assholes are me! Where are we on this? If these are Mark Madrasa's boy, man, it's a lot more where they came from! Come on, kid! This a misunderstanding, motherfucker! Let's go, let's leave him behind. Ice that motherfucker. There you go. Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. How much distance we got between us? You gotta use that gun? Man, go! Alright, we managed to lose him? Hey, let's go! Let's leave him behind! Can you see him? Are they still back there? Shoot that gun, kid! That's what it's for! Push the pedal, man! We gotta move! How much distance we got between us? Got a book, man. Go. Hey, let's go. Let's leave him behind. I think we lost him. Okay, we go back to my house. Think about this. Wow. Shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes! Fucking A, Bubba! Man. Hey, what? You sound kind of man. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me. We handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking crimes. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Ha! Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. 
Now, may they give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, it, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. I'm always a thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. I met this girl last night, and she was like, wow, you're actually cute as Kenny, kind of surprised. Give my mother. Yeah, I got your email. Look, I'm down for whatever. Listen, bro, as long as we're not out bowling with hipsters or hitting on... Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. Anyway, there's been this 
episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I got to make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? I'm exactly asking, Doc. Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I mean, I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. I, wait a minute. That's the shot. <laughs> that, I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. Th this... I think... No, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but... That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven that this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reform. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This? This is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want a drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. And I grew up myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Fuck, give me this. Yeah, here, you'll hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but, uh, oh. I never let them get too near. Oh, the fuck! Yeah.
yet! Any more of you freaks out there? Oh. Oh, shit. I don't feel so good. And after that, you see, <laughs> the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. Thank you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is going to be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> as much as I love catching up.
Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the life incubator office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. You don't have much 
Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bought up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. And now we scan. There it goes. This place is fueled by Java, bro. <laughs> Give me a second, will you? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to see all their movements. We'll know everything. That's so cool. Look at this guy. We should be retired. Oh, nice. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Book bag, dig fast. Oh. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh, how's your air guitar? Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Hold on, hold on. Down! They down ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. 
Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it. Oh, hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! God! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa!
close. I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man